Hello Aquarius, welcome to your love reading. We're going to be looking at what's coming towards you in love. Uh, keep in mind that these readings are general, so they will not resonate with every Aquarius watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. You can also check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, for additional messages. Sometimes those can resonate more than your sun sign. Check out the description box. I have all of the playlists for each sign linked there. And let's jump right in for Aquarius. It's very dangerous, guys. For Aquarius, what is coming their way in love? What is coming their way in love for Aquarius? So we're going to look at what is going on for you in love, and then we'll look at what you can expect next, kind of near future energies. And then we'll also take a quick look at who you might be dealing with. Um, Six of Wands, okay. I'm not gonna take it just because I'm planning to cut the deck, but I wanted to look at it anyway. For Aquarius, what can they expect? Eight of Wands, King of Wands, interesting, and the Two of Wands. The Moon Reverse in the near future with the Wheel of Fortune reverse, okay. Pisces energy. Overall energy, the Seven of Wands. Okay, King of Cups after that, interesting. So what I see here with the Eight of Wands, King of Wands, I'm sensing action, excitement, quick movement, things moving quickly, someone taking charge, a fire sign perhaps, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. But in the near future, I get the sense that there's going to be some sort of like big reveal, some sort of uh, important event. I'm thinking this is an event that was delayed with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Let me get some more insight here. Tell me more about the energies. For Aquarius regarding love and relationships. What insight guidance do you have for Aquarius regarding love and relationships? Mirrored souls, divine feminine faith. Can I get one more? Fire sign comes out again and peaceful, balance and calm. Falling leaves, changes, transition, time. Time changes everything. There's something here to do with time with this Wheel of Fortune. Um, with peaceful and faith, I'm getting um, a lot of spiritual energy here. Um, almost like spirit is involved or orchestrating this. Um, maybe you just need to have faith that things are going to balance themselves out, that things will be... Um, Peaceful again. Divine Feminine, Merit Souls. I feel like someone feels like you are their, divi their Divine Feminine or vice versa. And again, we get this fire sign energy, which tells me it, you either are dealing with a fire sign Aquarius or uh, the person you're dealing with is exhibiting traits of a fire sign, you know, um, passion, creativity, action, boldness. So let's get some uh, clarity here. Overall energy is the Seven of Wands. This is someone that takes an active stance, fights back, defends their ground, um, is standing firm against any challenge. Let's start with that energy. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. What's this Seven of Wands about for Aquarius? Why is Seven of Wands here? Eight of Cups and the Lovers. Gemini energy with the lovers. Again, this like soulmate energy from like mirrored souls here. Walking away, a departure. Someone's fighting back for, I feel, an opportunity. Yeah, there's the Eight of Wands again. Oh, you can't really see it. It's the Eight of Wands here with Knight of Pentacles. Yep, and there's a Page of Pentacles. So there's definitely something that someone's fighting for. And it has to do with a connection, but it probably also requires some sort of move on their part with the Eight of Cups. 
Someone could literally be leaving a connection here with the Eight of Cups and the Lovers. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Seven of Wands. Oh my gosh. What are the odds we get the Seven of Wands again? And the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about the Lovers. Tell me about the Lovers. Nine of Cups. This is someone's desire. Five of Swords at the bottom. I feel like this is going to require a fight. So whatever someone desires, wishes for, um, would bring satisfaction to them, Aquarius. I think it's something they have to fight for. Yeah, there's the Four of Swords and the Three of Swords. So it's almost like um, an exchange here. There will be, it will be difficult or there will be some sort of difficulty here. This could be you or your person, but this is just the overall energy for you when it comes to love. So I'm getting that one of you in this connection feels like you have to fight for this. Fight against an obstacle to be together or to have what you desire. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands could be communication, action. Things moving quickly. What's this Eight of Wands about? The Knight of Pentacles again and the Eight of Wands again. I'm getting a lot of, what in, I don't know why, that usually doesn't happen often where you get the same card clarifying. I mean, the odds of that happening mathematically are very slim. So I always take notice of it and it's happened twice. <laughs> so I'm getting this, um, obviously the message is confirmed, but it's almost like Spirit wants me to look at these cards more specifically the seven of wands eight of wands the double at the bottom of the deck capricorn energy again i feel like this is a symbol for a challenge some sort of challenge here with the six of pentacles after that it's almost like a challenge that needs to be addressed balanced can i get one more for the eight of wands why is the eight of wands here Page of Wands. So this is definitely somebody taking charge. There's the Five of Swords again. Someone in this connection is taking matters into their own hands, taking action, taking initial steps towards what they feel is an opportunity. Um, and this is happening quickly. And this opportunity, in order to have this opportunity, someone's going to need to face some sort of challenge or obstacle. Um, and this could be anything i mean it could be a, an existing partnership it could be walking away from something it could be um an adversary or someone that doesn't approve or is you know meddling or um a third person involved something like that it could also be distance long long distance could also be um kind of like a challenge to overcome because i have the two of wands here why is the two of wands here Why is the Two of Wands here? King of Pentacles. Okay, tell me more about this Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? Five of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Two of Cups at the bottom. Okay, so I get the sense that this Five of Pentacles is alluding to that challenge that I'm speaking of. It could be financial some sort of loss that someone experiences. I feel like this King of Pentacles will have to perhaps be downgraded. Um, the that of Pentacles is a card about ind uh, independence and stability. So I feel like someone's really concerned about stability or this decision has something to do with uh, security, stability, money. Um, and it, again, we have the Two of Cups here. So similar to Mirrored Souls and the Lovers, there's like a soulmate connection here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy with the King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles for me as a reader tends to already be in some sort of a commitment. Tell me more about this Two of Wands. Six of Cups, another card about like soulmates. I feel like this is someone that feels the other per it's almost like there's someone that's drawn to their soulmate is aware of a soulmate there you are aquarius with the star the queen of swords i think i feel like this is already known um this could be somebody coming into your life completely new with the eight of wands and the king of wands someone that you know it's like an instant connection 
a passionate connection, a soulmate connection that, you know, it's almost like it just hits you. But in order for this to happen, it's like there's an obstacle, a challenge. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Let me see if I can get. What's the Seven of Wands? There's a Page of Pentacles. Once again, like fighting for this opportunity. What's the Seven of Wands about? Why is the Seven of Wands? Here, let me move this up so you can see it. Why is the Seven of Wands here, Spirit? Nine of Wands, yeah. Page of Swords. I think that there is something here. Um, Nine of Wands could be that someone has their guard up. It could be that someone's been through a difficult situation and is still kind of dealing with the aftermath. The Nine of Wands could also be a card about feeling like you're not very um, trusting of others or are just worried, anxious, exhausted. I feel like someone has been through a lot. Now, I don't know if this is someone that you already know, Aquarius, because I do feel like for some of you, this is definitely someone new. And whoever this is, either they have gone through a difficult situation or you have gone through a difficult situation and it's affecting the connection now. And I feel like there's going to be some sort of loss or difficulty with the Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords that came out, the Eight of Cups, um... You know, it's like someone would have to walk away from something, a place that they work at, a place they live in, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. A bad habit, an old situation, whatever the case may be. Eight of Pentacles. So many Pentacles on the board. And Wands. Wands are all about action, intention, passion, drive. Pentacles are more about like study, material goods, security, commitment, typically. Something that takes time and effort. So I, I get the sense that whoever you're involved with Aquarius or will be involved with, it's like they need to step up to this challenge or take matters into their own hands, take action, make an effort. So let's look at where all of this is headed near in the near future. The moon reverse. Why is the moon reverse? Why is the moon reverse? Three of wands. Again, this idea of like waiting or delays that I got with the wheel of fortune reverse. It's like this was waiting to reveal itself, waiting to come out. Tell me more about the moon reverse. Why is the moon reverse? Four of Wands and then the Wheel of Fortune shows up again, but upright this time. So once again, Four of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, I think of like a divine partnership or connection, 1111. High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. So I, I get that this was something that you waited for or happened after some time. But I don't know what this is. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune Reverse. Why is the Wheel of Fortune Reverse? The Eight of Swords just wanted to come out, but it didn't. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune Reverse. Death and the Knight of Cups. Scorpio Energy and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, it's like a Knight of Cups is on its way to you. There's the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. But something had to change, transform, end with the Death card. And that's why it took some time to get to you. Or things took some time to develop here. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. It's like your soulmate finally arrives. Or finally is able to uh, give you this cup. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, Queen of Cups again. Tell me about death. Tell me about the death card. Wow, King of Cups, Queen of Cups shows up. And then there's a two of swords with the six of swords a difficult decision regarding a departure um i feel like you and this other person were kept from each other for whatever reason i get the sense that maybe the timing wasn't right or something was just 
delayed when it came to you and this person. Maybe someone just wasn't ready at the time or something like that. Or maybe you just didn't meet when you were meant to meet or met at the wrong time. You know, whatever it is. I feel like this kept you from each other. You were kept from this person and vice versa. So let's get some more insight into this person. The King of Cups showed up twice here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. King of Cups wants to be with their Queen of Cups, right? Like the divine counterparts. A lot, a lot of love, a lot of compassion, empathy, kindness. Very sweet, loving energy with the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Tell me more about this person that Aquarius is, has, or will be dealing with spirit. What do we need to know? Five of Wands. Okay, what do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know? about this person what do we need to know four of wands reverse ace of cups reverse at the bottom of the deck conflict ace of swords reverse yeah conflict difficulty you grab one oracle for them drama instability disharmony especially with the five of cup um i'm sorry the five of wands and the four of wands reversed together it's like people are not getting along there is conflict amongst people amongst a, uh, a family amongst a, um, an organization you know it could be co-workers or something like that um tell me more about what this person's energies are when it comes to aquarius or this connection what do we need to know about this person's spirit what do we need to know about this person okay all right we have i'm confused and bottom of the deck i feel trapped is that why the two of wands is here and the two of swords showed up but i feel like this could be an internal conflict that someone's having someone's possibly feeling like you know, this could even be, you know, a situation where someone meets you and it's like the world is upside down. Things are not the same. Once they've met you, things have changed. Now they don't know what to feel, what to do with their feelings, with this, you know. It's like, I, I really do get the sense that this reading is for an Aquarius where it's like your soulmate and you finally meet or collide <laughs> and things change because of that and it's it was like spiritually guided and it came at the right time and it happened quickly and all it set all these things in motion all these events you know um whether this is someone you already met or this is someone completely new um it just set all of this in motion and now i feel like your person is almost thinking well aquarius is the one for me what am i going to do now because clearly there's a conflict or an obstacle that they have to overcome to be with you. And of course, it's going to be different for all of you, but it's, it keeps showing up. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Aquarius, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.